We are less than a week away from the January livestream where Intrepid will give us our first updated look at the tank archetype since we last saw it in Alpha 1 testing. Since that time, we've been able to see a complete combat revamp, so I'm excited to see what Intrepid brings to the table. When Ashes of Creation revealed their Cleric class in November, it was a bit disappointing in my opinion. Intrepid really didn't go in-depth on the Cleric as I'd hoped and paint the class in a way I was hoping as it was more of a group running around and killing mobs, showing us the day and night cycle and zombies compared to showing us the cleric and talking about how it can function in intense situations. Which I think was made pretty clear by a big part of the community as I wasn't the only one who felt this way. But I think Intrepid heard that feedback so I think this time around we will have a much better look on the tank specifically and less of a focus on the world surrounding it. I want to learn more about the abilities of a tank and how this tank will use their class synergy to team up with both healers and DPS in a party. There are 8 possible tanks in Ashes of Creation so I really would love to see a unique types of tanking. Part of the issue that there is with tanking in MMORPGs is that it's either too hard or too boring for players to jump in. And we end up running into the issues of not being able to find a tank when you need one because nobody wants to play it. And with class archetypes, they could make this class fun and unique enough where Ashes of Creation isn't having much of the same issue. Especially when you have a class such as the Spell Shield, which is the Tank Mage combo, and the Warden, which is the Tank Ranger combo, hopefully showing that tanks don't have to be a melee class with a sword and shield in Ashes of Creation, but rocking a bow or wand instead. Unfortunately, we don't really know how these class archetypes are going to play out yet with the class system, but it's something I'm really hoping to learn more about. This would also be a great time to learn more about the active blocking and the plans for it in Ashes of Creation. We saw a glimpse of this in November, but all it really showed was Steven moving the shield up and down, but they didn't really dive into their plans for how it will work or when this ability will be useful. It also had no energy system tied behind it, so you could active block constantly, which I really hope isn't something that sticks around. I would like to see this ability be used more in a skill-based aspect, having players need to time the boss's abilities and land the block right at the right second to reduce the most amount of damage, and any seconds after that would reduce the damage absorbed significantly. Maybe even have it being something that could be upgraded in the weapon skill tree for the shield to increase the absorbed damage. This would be a really fun aspect, especially when used against other players in PvP. And yes, PvP is a big part of Ashes of Creation, and with 8 different tanks classes and long leveling times, they'll want all classes to be viable options, so I would love to hear Intrepid talk about how exactly they're going to make the tank useful in PvP situations, going up against other players, and if changing that secondary archetype would be a more viable option when jumping from a dungeon to an open field siege. I could see tanks being the ones pushing the siege weapons where they are able to take more of a hit and absorb more damage, but otherwise tanks are normally low damage dealing, high damage taking, not making them ideal for most PvP situations. So I'll be curious to see what Intrepid will do with them. Lastly, there is threat. I'm not a huge tank player, I'd much rather be a healer or a DPS, so I'm not entirely familiar with what people like when it comes to threat, but in my opinion there needs to be some system in place for the tank to hold aggro. It doesn't need to be like threat where as a DPS you're constantly watching the meter making sure you're not pulling aggro, but it doesn't need to be as simple as the boss always attacks the tank in the group either. I believe tanking should be somewhat skill based, not focused solely on being the guy that takes the damage and moves the boss into the right spot while the healers and the DPS do the majority of the work. So whether there are aggro mechanics tied into each ability beyond taunt, or they find a way for threat generating to be more appealing and less of a hindrance to the DPS who just want to deal as much damage as possible, tanks really need to have a good skill-based alternative to keeping the party alive. With the tank being done, I hope this means that the ball is finally going to get rolling on the Alpha 2 train. Having all three class types being tank, heals, and support in a playable state means that we could be jumping in and seeing a lot more dungeon gameplay in the near future. We are already you know we're going to see some world boss gameplay in either February or March, and I hope this is just the beginning to have a really awesome year for Ashes of Creation. What are you hoping to see from the tank reveal in Friday's livestream? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notification, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.